Hey guys, this is Ryan Hall, also known as Frog Bill Go uh, from DeviantArt.com. Um, so I, I've, I just finished fil uh, filming this video on some drawing pointers and stuff. Uh, there's something I left out that was really important, uh, especially if you are a person that's drawing on the traditional, uh, you know, pa uh, traditional paper, um, and you want to scan in your drawing and then color it. Um, one method that people use to color let's let's go to Photoshop here one method I used to use when I colored was use the multiply effect so you have your scan and then I normally just would set it on multiply and then what you can do is add a layer and put the layer below your scan from there everything that's white on your scan will be see-through so Remember, this is the old way. So I have the layer below my scan, and then color, and then there you go. You can see below the lines. Now the problem with this is if you take your scan, and let's say you want to colorize it. You go Image, Adjustments, Hue, Saturation, and you turn it to Colorize, right? And let's turn it to like a uh, purple pink, just for uh, example. So I can turn it on and off. There you go. So now if you change the underlying color, Image adjustments, use saturation, and change the color. Look what happens to my line work. It turns from like a dark purple to like a red. The bottom layer is affecting my my line work. So to get rid of this problem, you do this. Let's see. Let's back up. Okay. So here's my original scan, and I'm going to create a layer above the scan and I'm going to create a layer below the scan. So the top layer is one, middle layer is scan, bottom layer is two. What I'm going to do is pull the lines off the paper basically and turn it so that uh, make all of the white turn transparent. First step to do this is to select your scan layer and hit Control shift u and what that does is desaturates the image. So the image is completely black and white. Now, while you have your scan layer selected, uh, go to the channels tab, hold control, and if you have a Mac, it's a command, I think. Hold control, and then you'll see this little box pop up over the thumbnail over blue. You want to click on the blue layer while holding control, and you'll see marching ants pop up around your skin. From this point, while it's all selected, hold shift, then hit control and I all at the same time, and it's going to invert the selection. While that's inverted, go back to Layers. And then at Layers, back in your Layers, you see your scans here and there's like this marching ants. Don't deselect it, but click on Layer 1. Now go over to your color swatch and let's select black. And what you're going to do um, is hit Alt and Backspace. And you're going to see it fill in just like that. Alt, and you hit when you hit Alt and Backspace, it will fill the marching ants in with the first color. If you hit control and backspace, it'll fill it with the background color. But in this case, I want it with the, the foreground color. Uh, so what I did was, like I said, hit alt and backspace while it was all selected. Now watch this. I'm going to turn off my, I'm going to deselect control D. Deselected the, the uh, marching ants. Now watch this. I'm going to turn off my scan layer. Check it out. My lines are by themselves. Like now, now what that allows you to do is fill in the bottom layer with a fill color. So let's do white. I'm just gonna fill it in. So now watch, my lines are floating above that layer. Add a new layer here just to test it out. There you go. I hope this helps. Thanks.